The Lakers up against the Orlando Magic and the Lakers get back-to-back -back wins, beating the Orlando Magic by three points in the end. Final scores 96 to 93 scores at halftime and 44 to 39. The Lakers were leading. Let's get straight into a few player performances. Kyle Kuzma finished up with 11 rebounds, 4 assists, and 21 points. Dennis Schroeder, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, and 24 points. Just 4 of those 24 in the first half for Schroeder. And Dennis Schroeder was phenomenal in the last quarter for the Lakers. Montres Harrell had a nice performance, got a nice double-double. 11 rebounds, no assists, but finished up with 18 points. 12 of those 18 in the first half. For the Orlando Magic, well, Dwayne Bacon had a ripper performance. 8 rebounds, 1 assist, and 26 points. That's a career high for Dwayne, so um, congratulations to him. 11 of those 26 in the first half. And also, Chuma Okiki had a lovely game for the Magic. 6 rebounds, 3 assists, and 14 points. Um, you know, you look at the stats, and most of them are pretty even. I'll take a look at the three-point shooting. The Lakers um, made 11 out of 40 from the three-point arc, and they were shooting 27.5%. The Magic, on the other hand, 11 out of 33, um, shooting 33.3%. Um, so, you know, pretty even. Obviously, the Magic get a higher percentage because they, um, you know, attempted less three-pointers. Uh, it was an okay win. We just got there in the end, Lakers. It wasn't our best win, but a win's a win, I guess, uh, as long as we get the job done. Um, yeah, I, I thought we were going to actually put them away. We just kept letting them get back into the game, and, and the lead was mainly, for majority of the game, it was about five, six points. So it was, yeah, it wasn't one of our best wins, but still a win's a win. Um, you know, Marquise Morris with about six, five seconds left in the game. He put up a three. It was no good. And he gave the Magic a chance to tie up the game. So, um, Marquise Morris, that was um, poor IQ, basketball IQ from him. Uh, just run down the clock and to wait for that buzzer. Don't attempt a shot and, you know, uh, put it all up there for the team, for the opposition, in this case, the Magic, to snatch the game or force over time. Just get the job done. All right, Lakers, so we got that done. Back-to-back -back wins. Let's make it three in a row in our next game, which is on Thursday, the 1st of April, against the Milwaukee Bucks at 1 p.m. And we had massive news earlier today. The Lakers have signed the big fella, Former Cavalier Andre Drummond is now in the purple and gold. He's a part of the Lake Show, and he'll most likely make his debut in um, that game on Thursday against the Bucks. Andre, I can't wait to see you play for us Lakers. And, um, you know, welcome to the Lake Show. This is where you belong. Don't right, like guys, if you like that recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment, and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.